We are so pleased with this year's Year 11's response to the Emotional Self Project that we've created a gallery in school and this video to share it with you. This is Anna Kern's work. The whole project involves learning how to draw a self-portrait and then we observe how the face changes when we express different emotions. Hi, my name is Harry and this is my portrait for our coursework and this represents Theo, like the it's represented when he has his mouth hand over his mouth and that shows like shock because when you're shocked you put your hand over your mouth and it's kind of like not letting him express his feelings at the same time and his eyes show shock too because they're quite wide. Two pieces of work here by different students. This is Jessica who uses a pencil crayon beautifully and this is by Olivia and she studied at an artist called Chrissy Anlika who likes to dribble lots of paint. And if you walk this way we can see another one of Olivia's pieces of work where she's not just dribbled paint, she's dribbled hot wax. So she's melted oil pastels and dribbled hot wax. is supposed to represent curiosity and fear-induced reluctance and she's hiding behind flowers because she's afraid to express her true feelings to society. In this project by Jason you can see he studied the work of Pablo Picasso focusing on his blue period. Okay this piece of work is by Frankie and he liked playing around with dribbling he was looking at dribbling inks and he tried to create confusion by having the portrait one way and dribbling the paint in the opposite way. Harry on the other hand, he looked at an artist called uh, Anna Greek Sultau who loves sewing so he's done some uh, drawings and hand stitched and machine sewed his pieces together. Another one where the portrait's more uh, obviously Harry in that one. And then Back this way, we've got Eva, who looked at the Day of the Dead. So we've got lots of flowers coming in and around there, being inspired by the Mexican festival of the Day of the Dead. And then to contrast that, we've got Daniel, who wanted to look at more traditional artwork, focusing on Leonardo da Vinci, and he liked the idea of the self and the alter ego being an ego. These four pictures are by Erica and she likes using more traditional um, art materials in the first instance. She used pencil and uh, watercolour paints and she's playing around with the ideas that emotions can be attached to the four seasons. So we've got sadness attached to winter, we've got happiness attached to spring and summer. The later work involves scanning these pictures into the computer and working on the computer. Um, my name is Shelby Hope and this is my final piece based on anger and control and how I control my own anger. Um, the um, people who are shouting are representing the anger in, inside. This is um, me controlling my anger and the cat represent how I control my anger through my imagination. And um, the idea of Cat came from Alice in Wonderland and how she used her imagination to get away from the world. The BTEC Year 11 students also do a project under the same title of Emotional Self, but they're working towards a scenario and a, a quite a tight brief. And their brief is to come up with a poster for a mental health charity to help people understand how important it is to be able to express their emotions.